In the cold, silent void of interstellar space, a lone machine continues its endless journey. Launched in 1977, Voyager 1 was never supposed to last this long. It was built with 1970s technology, memory smaller than a modern digital watch, and instruments designed for a mission expected to last only five years. Yet here it is, almost 50 years later, still transmitting signals from the farthest reaches of human exploration. Voyager 1 crossed into interstellar space in 2012, officially leaving the protective bubble of our sun's influence, known as the heliosphere. Since then, it has traveled over 14.8 billion miles away from Earth, a distance so unimaginable that signals from it, traveling at the speed of light, take more than 22 hours to reach us. For decades, scientists believed Voyager 1's journey would simply be one of silence, measuring cosmic rays, magnetic fields, and the density of interstellar plasma. Nothing dramatic, nothing unexpected. But then, just recently, something happened, something scientists are calling an impossible encounter. Voyager 1's instruments began detecting patterns in the interstellar medium that shouldn't exist, Instead of the smooth, steady plasma waves predicted by theory, the spacecraft measured sudden bursts of oscillations, like ripples in water that appeared out of nowhere. These weren't caused by solar activity, nor by anything familiar from known cosmic events. The data looked artificial, almost as if something had intentionally disturbed the fabric of space around Voyager. To make it stranger, Voyager 1 signal itself began to fluctuate in ways engineers couldn't explain. It wasn't just static interference. Some experts claimed it looked structured, like fragments of information hidden in the noise. Could Voyager 1 be brushing against something unknown, a new cosmic frontier? Or could it be detecting signs of intelligent design in the deep, silent darkness? For the first time since its launch, Voyager 1 wasn't just a spacecraft. It had become a messenger carrying whispers from beyond, whispers that no one on Earth was prepared to hear. And this was only the beginning. The data stream from Voyager 1 stunned NASA's deep space network. Instead of the expected smooth plasma frequencies, engineers began noticing pulses that repeated in perfect intervals. Cosmic plasma waves are usually chaotic, unpredictable, but these were precise, rhythmic, almost mathematical. Dr. Linda Spoon, one of the lead scientists on the Voyager mission, described it as the heartbeat of something unknown. The pulses came every 11 seconds, constant, unwavering. At first, some suspected it was a technical glitch. After all, Voyager 1 is old, with systems far beyond their intended lifespan. But after weeks of careful analysis, it became clear this wasn't a malfunction. The patterns were real and external. But what could create such signals in the endless dark? Some scientists suggested Voyager had crossed into a region of dense interstellar plasma where charged particles naturally form wave structures. Others argued it might be interacting with a previously undetected magnetic wall at the edge of our galaxy. But then came the truly chilling discovery. The signal contained harmonic overtones, multiple frequencies layered together in ratios identical to human musical scales. Nature can produce order, but this level of mathematical harmony was deeply unsettling. Even more shocking was the effect on Voyager's own transmissions. When engineers tried sending commands to adjust its instruments, the return signal came back slightly delayed and distorted, as if something had intercepted and resent it. It wasn't simply bouncing off cosmic dust, it felt more controlled. Speculation spread like wildfire. Had Voyager 1 encountered a natural cosmic structure, behaving like a transmitter? Or had it brushed against evidence of extraterrestrial intelligence? The scientific community split into camps. Some dismissed it as coincidence. Others quietly admitted, we might not be alone out there. For NASA, the dilemma was urgent. Should they keep this quiet, 
fearing public panic, or reveal that humanity's farthest probe had possibly encountered something impossible, something that defied all known physics. Then, in late August, Voyager's instruments captured a final piece of data that changed everything. A sudden surge of plasma density, followed by a brief silence in the signal, only to return with what looked like a coded sequence of numbers. Voyager 1 wasn't just receiving the unknown, it was responding to it. When the coded sequence appeared, NASA scientists worked tirelessly to decode it. At first glance, it was just noise, but patterns emerged, a repeating structure resembling binary code. Incredibly, some segments translated into prime numbers, the universal mathematical language often proposed as the first step in alien communication. This couldn't be coincidence. For weeks, engineers at the Jet Propulsion Laboratory compared the sequence with every known cosmic source, pulsars, quasars, even echoes of Earth's own radio transmissions. Nothing matched. The structure was too deliberate. Someone, or something, was using Voyager 1's signal as a medium to speak back. And then came the most unsettling detail. When graphed, the numbers formed a repeating spiral pattern, eerily similar to the golden ratio, the mathematical sequence found in everything from seashells to galaxies. It was as if the cosmos itself had reached out using Voyager as a cosmic postman carrying a universal signature of intelligence. The implications were staggering. If this was a natural phenomenon, it would rewrite our understanding of interstellar physics. If it wasn't, then Voyager 1 had just become the first human object to engage in communication with another intelligence. NASA has remained cautious, avoiding bold claims. Officially, they describe it as an anomalous plasma interaction. But behind closed doors, insiders whisper about Project Echo, a quiet effort to send a carefully coded reply back through Voyager's weak transmitter, knowing the response may take decades or perhaps never come at all. But here's the haunting thought. What if the intelligence that reached out wasn't light years away? What if it was already here, hidden in the very interstellar medium Voyager is drifting through? What if space itself carries a mind we are only now beginning to sense? For now, Voyager 1 continues on its silent trek, further and further from home, carrying humanity's golden record, a message from Earth, with greetings in dozens of languages, music, and sounds of life. Ironically, it may now be playing both roles, not only humanity's messenger to the stars, but also the receiver of messages we were never meant to hear. And as scientists wait for the next transmission, one truth remains unshakable. Voyager 1 has proven that the universe is not empty. Something is out there, watching, listening, and perhaps waiting for us to reply.